Mom is in Control, episode 316. Okay, ladies, no playing around. We are on day eight of the 12 days of mothering. Hopefully you know who I am by now. I'm Heather Chauvin, founder of the Mom is in Control podcast and all things teaching your kid to meditate and mom is in control. So eight out of 12 days where I am talking about one universal law that governs our lives every day, showcasing (laughs) universal law. And yesterday was the law of attraction. Everybody has heard, maybe not, but if you're in the personal development space, you may have heard um, about the law of attraction. And a lot of people make a lot of money promoting and selling the law of attraction. And when I got into personal development, anything woo-woo, meditation, journaling, um, yoga, oh gosh, law of attraction, positive thinking, all of this crap, not literal crap, but you know what I mean. I didn't get it. I didn't understand. I had no idea. It was so overwhelming. And I guess my mission is just to debunk all things personal development and show you that whether we all have a reason of why we want to grow. I always say that there's contrasts in life, right? And I, I didn't invent, invent this stuff. It's just things that I've heard along the way. Um, But contrast in life is what we don't want, right? We have the yin and the yang, and I think tomorrow or in a few days I'm going to be talking about the law of gender, Um, the yin and yang, the light and the dark. But we we experience contrast. Like think about back pain, for example, right? You're like, ah, I got neck pain or I got a tweak in my back. Ah, not this. It hurts. It hurts. It's painful. And all you can focus on is the pain, the pain. And then you go to the chiropractor, you get a massage or you do whatever you want to do. And you know, you're working the kinks out. And then all of a sudden you're thinking to yourself, Oh, the pain is gone. Right? So what are you focused on? You're focused on the alignment, right? Your back is back in alignment. So the pain is gone. This is the same concept with life, but we truly believe at our core for some strange reason that we need to suffer as humans. And that suffering is, is essential. And that's what makes you a hero. And that's what makes you proud. And that's what makes you, you know, a good person is you need to suffer and you need to hurt and you need to be in pain and you need to be in debt and bad things have to happen to you in order for good things to happen to you. And or for whatever, for your willingness to receive good things, right? It's like, oh, I've had a shitty past, so I deserve this. I deserve this. So my point is you don't have to, but yet for some reason, and I could probably go down a rabbit hole here, we believe this story and this thought that that the purpose of life is not joy, but when it actually is. So going back to this concept that I started with about the whole law of attraction thing and personal development, um, I think people glorify it to make it seem like it's harder than it actually is. And I'm here to tell you it's not. I try so, I didn't want to use the word hard. I don't like that word hard. I, I try to be so intentional in my work to make it simple for you. So we can take complex subjects and make them simple like parenting and money and health and mindset and marriage, relationships, all of these things. And a few days ago when I talked about the law of action and cause and effect, hopefully by now you realize that this is no mystery. This is no, well, the magic does happen, but there is no secret here. The secret is you want something, you walk towards it. And in order to walk towards something, you have to take action. What do you have to take? Action. So today, um, I'll tell you what today is about. Today is about the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. I have no idea when I read this. I was thinking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I have no idea. Maybe because transmutation of energy, I thought, I don't know. This is where my brain goes to. Like, I don't know why you guys listen to me. Transmutation of energy and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have no idea why I thought there was an association there. Because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 
mutate from a regular turtle to this like awesome kick-ass turtle, right? And that's kind of what's happening um, in this law of perpetual transmutation of energy. This law basically means that you have the ability to change your life into anything you want. It's your responsibility to transform your life. And it's your choice to accept or reject the opportunities that the universe gives you. Energy is always in motion and you get to choose whether you want to go with the flow or not. I love this. Energy is always in motion. We know this. Look at a river, look at a stream, right? What happens, think about a pool of water. And I don't just mean like a literal pool in a backyard. I mean like a little pool of water. Um, when, the, when the water is not moving, what happens? It grows algae, it grows bacteria, all of those things. When the energy is flowing, that shit doesn't happen because the energy is constantly flowing, it's cleansing itself, yada, yada, yada. So energy is always in motion and you get to choose whether you want to go with the flow or not. Now, this could be a tricky one because when we're going with the flow, I think a lot of us are doing that right now. We're going with the flow and we're saying, not this, not this, because the cultural energy, especially at this time of year, might be a little overwhelming for you. The cultural energy of motherhood might be out of alignment. It might be like back pain. You're like, not this, not this. It hurts. It's painful. I'm struggling. I don't understand. And you've tried all these things and you still can't get rid of the pain. So you're not in alignment. So when I read this, that energy is always in motion and you can choose whether you want to go with the flow or not, that doesn't mean that going with the flow is always going to be in the direction of your desire. Does that make sense? So if everyone is like, let's do this, let's do this, and your gut says, no, I don't want to. If you say yes because you want to go with the flow, that might not be in alignment. You might say, no, thank you. I choose to go the other way. I choose to do something else. So the law of perpetual mutation of energy. This law basically means that you have the ability to change your life, and it's your responsibility to transform it. You choose to accept or reject. And when I was doing some research, what I found online was this law of energy says that all energy in motion will eventually appear in physical form. So that means our thoughts, because our thoughts are energy, will eventually appear in physical form. Thoughts are energy. Words are energy, actions are energy, money is energy, time is energy, everything is energy. Remember, we talked about this. So eventually, your thought, the belief and the story that you have about yourself or about somebody else or about your situation is going to transmute into physical form. It's really just another way of saying the law of attraction. And I was reflecting on this because yesterday I shared about um, five years ago my diagnosis. And in this personal development world, everyone's like, you, your thoughts create your reality. You manifest everything to you. And I've always sat with this of like, did I manifest cancer? And what happens when you know, other people get sick or die. Like, did they manifest that? And I don't want to go that far to give somebody the responsibility of that. Um, I think we have so much consciousness and unconsciousness, and I'm not going to pretend to be um, a scientist in this or even an expert. But all I'm going to say is give yourself a break that it's not all our fault. We can't take that responsibility. Yes, we can take the responsibility of our actions and continuously show up in our lives and ask ourselves, how can I be better today? But geez, come on, we need to give ourselves a break, right? So when I read this and it tells me that the law of perpetual trans transmutation of energy says that all energy in motion will eventually appear in physical form. That means that our thoughts will eventually appear in physical form as well. Take it 
for what it is. Use what works and let the rest go. Beating yourself up because you're like, did I manifest this? This bad thing that happened to me? That's not in alignment with how you want to feel. That thought process and that story, that's energy too. We need to remember to be kind to ourselves. Because I think what happens is we go from, from like one spectrum to the other. Where we're jumping into this whole process of self-awareness and like energy and how our thoughts create our life and how our actions lead to where we want to be in our lives. We have to realize that there's something bigger at play for one. And two, we're doing the best that we possibly can. We're human. We're imperfect. So imperfect. And that's okay. And anyone who pretends that they're perfect or, you know, they're psychoanalyzing every single word that you say or every action that you take, those people are exhausting to be around. I do this stuff for a living and it gets exhausting to analyze every behavior that you, um, that you do. You can go down a rabbit hole. We need to remember that we need to create joy in our lives while we're doing this work so that everything that we create will manifest as is. But while you're doing the work, don't forget to have fun. Don't forget to allow yourself to be light, to have light, to hang out with light, to celebrate yourself. The darkness will always be there. But focus on the light, especially when you feel like you've been doing lots of work. So that's what I have for you today. The, team, the Law of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, day eight. Tomorrow, I will be back with another law, one of the 12 universal laws that govern our lives. So just ask yourself today, what thought or story am I telling myself that is causing these physical symptoms in my life? Whether it's physical exhaustion, physical mess and clutter, physical environment. Just be curious. Curiosity is where you need to land. All right, ladies, talk soon.